No Gamer Lawn, welcome back to Guild of Thieves, and we are going to go to the muddy room and get the gin, and then we'll go up to the uh, coral room, and we'll head west. We'll take it back to the main bedroom, north. North. Junction. And we go northwest. And we go southwest. Money room. Yep, this is where we want the muddy room. The heat from the passage through the vault in the northeast corner can hardly be felt at all in here. Instead, a thin beam of light which traverses the room from east to west heats it and provides illumination. A mud pool in the middle of the room about a meter in diameter occasionally lets out a gulp noise when a bubble burst at its surface on the ceiling directly over the mud pool is a lump of wax something appears to be stuck in the wax so examine wax Oh gee, the wax is almost molten due to the heat in the room. A gin is stuck precariously in the wax. It might plummet into the muddy pool at any time. So now how do we get this uh, gin out of the wax? Well, you use the mirror. So what we're going to do is we're going to reflect the beam of light at the wax so that the uh, j light can melt the, the wax and release the gin. So reflect. At wax with mirror get gin Beam melts the wax and the gin falls. You have not got the gin. So now we're going to go put the uh, gin in the, in the uh, safe. Oh, well, northeast. Oh. 
excuse me for trying. South. 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 Mm. Open. Save. Put Jim in save. Close save. And now that should be all the treasures. So we found the fossil which we got by breaking the coal. We got the oil painting which we found in the uh, gallery. I think that's where it was. We got the diamond ring which we found in the cue ball in the billiard room. We got the plastic bag which we found in the uh, stool that was in the uh, music room. We got the designer dress. We got the china pot. We got the chalice. We got the ruby which we found in the uh, wine bottle. We got the, I think, the plectrum which we found with the loot. We found the incest burner. We got the ri ivory rhino. We got the uh, statuette. We got the brooch which we found on the sandy beach. We got the mineral chips which we uh, chipped off the min mineral. And we got the gin from the uh, muddy room. So that makes 14 treasures. So we got all the treasures. So the bank should be open. And now we're going to go to the coal room north. North. This time we're going on the west. Yep. And we're going northwest again. Room of hot coals. White hot coals cover the floor of the western half of this room, creating a powerful glow which singes the few hairs on your arms. The glow forces you to avert your eyes before they are permanently damaged, but not before you notice a set of steps on the other side of the coals. So this is where the clue from the uh, pamphlet comes in about walking on hot coals and you put uh, sucklings on your feet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to coat our feet with the succulent, succulents. Rub. Feet. With. Succulents. As your feet get coated with the uh, succulents, they start feeling very numb. Oh, now we're going up. 
you skip across the white hot coals without feeling the slightest tinge of pain. Flight of steps. On this flight of steps, you can see the glow and feel the heat of the coals below, but upward leads into more familiar territory. Cold, unwelcoming darkness. Now we're going to go up again. Yeah, we're on a boathouse. The lake which lies to the east of this damp old boathouse silently laps against the ramp down which many small vessels must have entered the waters in days gone by. Westward are a set of steps leading down into the room of hot coals, while a route to the southeast leads leads into darkness so this is where I'm going to end the recording here I'll save the game and when we come back we're gonna, we'll go into the white room and we'll work on solving the opaque case so that's going to take some effort because you have to roll, uh, die so the uh, gamer on saying stay tuned for more of Guild of Thieves